All right, here we are at 2001 Cobalt 226 bow rider. This is a one owner boat. It has spent its life here on the beautiful fresh waters of Norris Lake, Tennessee. We've got just over 500 hours on a 5.7 fuel injected Volvo Penta dual prop stern drive inboard outboard. And this is in really nice condition. Cobalt is a very high quality boat manufacturer. They are known for their quality of construction, smooth riding hull. This is a good sized boat. This is a nice deep V. And the Cobalt boats always ride nice and quiet and solid compared to other boats in their categories. We do have a full mooring cover. It's right here on the walkway here. Now, I do need to say this is in a private slip, so the slip is not transferable. However, um, the seller's new boat that's expected to arrive later this season uh, will not be able to, uh, to work with the lift that this one's sitting on. So we believe this is about a 5,000 pound um, side mount Galva lift. And that could be purchased at, in addition to the boat if you needed a lift for it wherever you were taking it, if it worked for you. And if not, after this one sold, we will, we will list and sell the lift separately. There's no trailer included to this, um, this, with this one. Excuse me. This one was ordered and purchased new without a trailer because they knew where they were going right here to Norris Lake with it. And it was going to be undercover and on a lift its entire life. And that's what it has had so the condition on this one's just a beautiful uh white with some navy accent stripes We've got an integrated swim platform here three step swim boarding ladder a step on board we're here for our video walkthrough tour this is a ski tow bar of course there's your model number for the cobalt and then we've got an integrated cooler here on the swim platform that's a self-draining cooler it's gonna drain right out the way when that ice melts there's your three-step ladder good high quality ladder what you would expect from a cobalt little um walk through transom door here that clicks into place so you can have that either open or closed it's not gonna bounce around you're not relying on a velcro strap to hold it in place nice walk through transom here that's gonna save a lot of wear and tear on uh, your sun pad right here now there is some wear on this sun pad um, and that's about the only area of the boat that's, that's hardly got any wear on it um it mainly is the worst of it's right here on this side and then we've got a little bit more right in here of course there's a little bit of stains there um, don't believe if it had tried to hide that cleaned or not a few little just wear right along these seams I want to point that out to you. We always try to represent all of our listings as accurately as possible. Now, we had a very similar boat. Actually, it was also Cobalt. Um, similar size sun cover that was just replaced about a year ago. We, ha we can have that done in our area. That is about, uh, if I remember correctly, somewhere around a $700, maybe plus or minus $100 to, uh, to replace that with a, a very uh, light quality materials with the um, as close as they can to matching styles for this boat. I want to point that out. Uh, we do have the bimini top pulled back. Um, I'm going to give you a look over here before I walk in. Here's your cockpit. Um, and now I'm going to duck under it here just slightly. I'm going to use this transom all the way through. Also should point out there is snapping carpeting with this one. You'll see the snaps. That's basically just a bare floor. A lot of people will use these like that. Uh, because you know all, if you're if you're coming in wet if you've got kids or you're in and out of the water a lot You've got drains in the floor here and your water's gonna drain out more easily You're not gonna have to worry about that carpeting um, Especially if you're under cover slip maybe not getting all the way dry in between use and and um, you know getting mildew and things like that So this one is rated for 11 persons 
Um, here's your bimini top here. It is, it's in the uh, cobalt. Uh, imagine that's a navy, probably a sunbrella canvas bimini top. That's all just wrapped up and st uh, stored away for the winter here. We are getting into the spring season. I do want to show you, we've got a little um, uh, fresh water fill. I'll have the exact tank sizes for your uh, fuel and freshwater capacities listed on the website. And then a little pull out shower here, and that's a switch right here to turn the water pump on. You'll see more of that here later whenever I open up the engine room. So if you're looking for the asking price of this one, we won't reference those in the video tours because they'll sometimes change until listing is sold. So I'll invite you to visit our website, which is at yournewboat.com or www.yournewboat.com. If you just take the time to open up a new tab or window, type in yournewboat.com, hit enter. You'll see some orange lettering loading up on our, on our homepage. Uh, now, while you're there, that's a good chance to be signed up for our email list to be notified of new listings and price reductions. But if you hit that Find Your New Boat button, it's going to be in the top left-hand corner of the page. That's going to populate all of our inventory and order price. And all you got to do is scroll down until you see this one. We'll probably have some nice out, uh, um, outside of the slip shots on this one um, that you'll be able to, uh, to reference. You're going to recognize it right away. Again, it's a 2001 Cobalt 226 BR. The BR stands for the Bow Rider. And you'll see the asking price right there before you even have to click in any more info. But uh, when you do click into more info, you're going to see a photo slideshow. It's going to it's going to kind of pan through. You can hit the pause button, go through those photos one at a time to, at your own pace. And then, of course, there'll be a, another link for a printable PDF sheet to the left side of the uh, larger photo in the photo slideshow. And that'll show you the full list of details, anything that wouldn't fit on our website there. So here at your driver's seat. Uh, actually, we we do have the uh, dual uh, driver and passenger clip-up bolster seats. Both of these seats are going to swivel. Um, they'll go either direction, and both of these bolsters will flip up and down. And we've got really good condition vinyl. Maybe just a little bit. I mean, that's being really picky right there. If you want to look, maybe say that uh, that seam's got a little bit of wear on it. This one here is all still tight. Um, still tight everywhere else. And even in the bases of these flip-up bolsters, everything's looking good. A little bit of the seam just right in there on that one side. Everything else is holding up real nice on it. Um, so both of these are going to, uh, and they'll actually uh, slide forward and back as well as swivel. Tilt steering wheel, I think I already referenced that. They got a nice uh, nice looking wood grain uh, dash integrate in here. Uh, now some of these features, Cobalt will make these um, with every, all the features on integrate into their dash. So if you if you looking at this on high res, you might notice some of these. I'm not going to call attention to those if the boat's not equipped with it. We, do, we have function tested everything on this boat. Um, your stereo and your depth finder, you've got a depth finder integrated into your dash over here. You got drive trim gauge, oil pressure gauge, engine temperature gauge, tachometer, speedometer, battery bolts, and fuel gauge, as well as a Ritchie compass integrated in there. Um, driver uh, stereo remote uh, key does have to be in the on position for your stereo to come on. Right underneath there, we've got a 12 volt power outlet. Uh, conveniently located stainless steel cup holder right there for your driver's seat speaker underneath and there's of course that's your capacity plate rated for 11 persons over here on this other side we do have a functional uh, bilge and blower we've got some interior lighting uh, we function tested all the navigation lights you've got a working um, green and a red light up there at the bow the anchor light uh, works as well there's your bilge pump you can hear it well you might be able to hear that kind of cycling on um, there's your blower, there's your bilge. I'll leave these interior kind of courtesy lights on just, just so you'll kind of see where they're located. You got three of them right here around the cockpit. So you've got the uh, driver stereo remote. We've got a uh, removable uh, rear view mirror here that's pulled off so that uh, the mooring cover fits over top of it. We've got, let's see, I forgot to count our cup holders here. We've got stainless cup holders throughout. We've got two, four, six, eight and ten. Ten stainless cup holders. Unless I skipped one, that looks like I got them all. Just kind of making a quick pan right here. Um, those are the nice heavy duty stainless cup holders. You got a little uh, foam seal on the bottom of those. Four speakers for that Sony stereo. Again, that uh, driver remote's over there. 
Uh, look at this touch cobalt does. Put a little courtesy light inside your glove box. You know, sometimes you're in there at night, you're trying to find something, somebody's phone. Um, they also take the time, and this is this boat was built in 2001, mind you. They took the time to put a 12 volt power outlet here in your glove box as well. So you've got two of those, basically one for your driver, one for your passenger. We've got a Sony. This is an AM FM uh, satellite stereo and a CD player. Sorry, so AM FM CD um, XM satellite ready stereo six speakers four right here in the cockpit two more up in the bow another self-drained cooler here in the cockpit that's your drain for it right there battery switch under here we've got dual batteries we've got uh 2020 batteries those were replaced in the uh, I believe september of 2020 nice in-floor ski locker we've got a nice liner down here this is basically like a heavy duty rubber matting that they put down here to kind of protect your gear if you've got it down there so it's not scratching up uh interior of the hull or scratching up your rust keys or gear itself uh we've also got your your wind block through or your wind block here for your bow walk through hard time saying words today so you've got that windshield and the wind block open, and then you can open both of these up. Again, no, uh, no little Velcro or straps um, that are gonna snap in place. Cobalt kind of puts in a little bit heavier duty, more heavy duty hardware that's really gonna, there it is, into place. That really holds up well over time. So walking through it again, cockpit cover, or cockpit carpeting, uh, you can kind of see the snaps in there. That's all been pulled out. Um, two stainless cup holders and a speaker on either side up here in the bow area. Anchor storage locker right over here. There's your satellite antenna. This is already basically has a turnkey satellite package on here. Anchor chain and rope. Sometimes called anchor chain and road. That's not a mispronunciation. <laughs> that part was. So another thing I really like about Cobalt, and they've done this for a while, just had some dock lights turn on so if you're hearing some background noise that buzzings for for some older style lights that just came on here at the dock you're starting to get closer to dock it to uh to dusk here you've got these hinges and these pull straps even so this really makes for a nice one-handed operation of getting things in and out of these uh under the seat storage You'll hear me brag about these on other boats. I really like this. Uh, what this allows you to do is lift it up with one hand. Your other hand is free or you can even lean it against your legs and you use both hands to get out what you need or put in what you need and then you put it right back as opposed to having to take two hands to actually move the seat, set it somewhere and then get what you're trying to get in and out of there. Back of this uh, Sony stereo, we, we do have that Axiom satellite that's been hooked up into auxiliary input. Um, that would also have an auxiliary input, but basically right now that Exium satellite setup is going into your satellite, uh, into your auxiliary input. Of course, you can also uh, just simply pull those, pull those wires out and put another input in there as well. Same thing over here, large storage compartment um, underneath your driver's helm and passenger seat as well. Um, this is all original interior. I mean, this is uh, this is what you get with the Cobalt. Also with that Kevlar hull that is hand laid. Um, and it is a very high quality process. Cobalt has managed to make a, a, a good quality boat year in, year out. So, let's see. I believe I raised all these seats back here. I'm going to raise our engine hatch now. And of course, we've got two large gas shocks there. Now here's your uh, freshwater tank. Looks like about a 20 gallon tank, but again, I'm gonna have the, uh, the tank capacities listed on our website in the PDF uh, spec sheet. We'll have the tanks, uh, fuel tank capacity and freshwater capacity. Here are those, here's a uh, newer uh, dual batteries. Again, we've got dual batteries with the battery switch. You'll notice some lighting down there as well. That is, uh, synced up with that courtesy lights here for the interior there's that 5.7 liter gsi now with volvo the g stands for gas 
and the I stands for fuel injection. So it's this is the five seven fuel injected um, Volvo Penta V8 inboard outboard. And again, we've got the dual prop out drive on this one. Engine hour meter is right here. I'm not sure if you can make that out here on the video, but that is 514 point one engine hours mm. that is all fresh water time and uh that bike was a little squeaky today so i'm just really impressed with the condition of this one if you haven't noticed already the 2001 cobalt was definitely the uh probably one of the top quality boat builders out there i will say there's some uh, other people that have closed the gap um not to throw everybody else under the bus cobalt's got a lot more competition i've seen some manufacturers close the gap and, and maybe in a, in a few boats um take over that top spot in uh in my you know my unbiased opinion today and uh but again in 2001 this is probably one of the top boats being made then I need to throw that in there so i didn't make some friends of mine mad at me um so um showed you that ski tow bar kind of done a walk around i'm going to do a little bit closer walk around of the exterior here coming up near the end of our video you might be able to see that dual prop out drive through that water there i'll have some photos of that at the website uh, about the only thing i've noticed uh on the exterior a little bit of oxidation just on the back part of this boat that is almost to be expected uh, of course you've got that overhang above it but that's where it is going to get a little bit of weathering and you walk around uh, this this boat there's a uh, mark up here at, near the bow of it just above this uh plate right here this is to protect it actually when you load it onto a trailer right above it we just got a few marks in the fiberglass i want to make you aware of uh you're way up above the water line here so it's really uh, nothing cosmetic there at all and then i'll walk around to the other side and show you just a little bit where you got some oxidation in that navy stripe just right here below that swim platform just ever so slightly um of course it also looks like i'm getting a little bit of cloud reflection there so that might be hard to pick up uh, otherwise the gel coat on this boat is just in great condition uh, again visit the website for more information you'll see the unoboot.com logo pop up top right hand corner of the screen that is to be subscribed uh to our youtube channel where you can be notified of new listings as they come available in our area and i thank you very much for joining us for this one